All right, today we're gonna replace this chrome bumper that has some dings and dents to it and put a nice brand new black OEM bumper. Here are some of the tools you're gonna need. Flathead screwdriver to help pry off the license plate lights, a impact or just a Phillips bit to get, all I used that for was my license plate and a couple of the brackets underneath the new bumper. You're gonna need a 21 millimeter and a 22 millimeter socket with an extension, ratchet, breaker bar, impact if you have one, not necessary, and wire cutters if you're gonna rewire your license plate lights. All right, so we got one, two license plate light. You got your little cap for the hitch ball and the spot where the key goes for your spare tire. Mine happened to be rusted out already, so it's already out. And this light is broken as well. Simply remove this because you're going to need it for your other bumper. Just a flathead pop-up comes right out. For your lights, there's actually a small tab right here to put a flathead screwdriver behind or something to pry with. Go behind it, gently pull, that comes out. The kit comes with a new set of these, so I'm not really worried about this one. Now that all four of those pieces are disconnected and the lights are no longer hooked to the bumper, we can head underneath and start working on that. All right, so now that we're under the truck, I went to the exhaust side. The exhaust pipe is right here, just so you have a point of reference. So directly back from the exhaust pipe, you'll see two bolts right there. There's three of them, but only the top ones are the ones holding the bumper to the truck. The other one is one you do not remove. So as you can see, my truck has quite a bit of underbody rust. I live in a northern state, we get a lot of salt. So for people in those situations, you're gonna wanna get some PB blaster, some rust break, and spray that a few days ahead of time to let them soak in, because these can get pretty, pretty nasty under here. So I'm gonna use my 21 millimeter socket on a ratchet. My impact won't quite fit up there, I could do it with an angle extension, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use good old fashioned ratchet. Now that both of those are out, simply do the same process on the other side. Let's get this chrome bumper off here, shall we? All right, luckily I have a hitch right here. Pause. So on my driver's side of the bumper, there's one cord there stuck with one of those little push pins. So I'm just gonna have to pull that out for the bumper to be freed. All right, let's try that again. While I'm under here, I'm gonna get rid of some of this old rusty paint and chips that I'm gonna have to take care of. So now we're gonna replace the pieces on the light. This just spins off. These are all busted up from taking them off, but the kit comes with a new set of caps right here, which will be able to go on the light. It does come with a light kit, but I don't need this. If yours does need it, you will have to snip and rewire these together. Looking at the new bumper, you're gonna have a plate that you're gonna have to put in the holes so you can get the nuts on. 
there's nothing the bumper is actually hooking to on the frame it's actually hooking to this plate so what has to happen is it has to get behind here which can kind of be annoying to get in but with a little finagling it'll be no problem I'll show you right here so behind it there is an opening so you can get get it through you grab one top you kind of just fish it down until it will fit in right there Now this part, I can straight up assure you, having that hitch on there does help you quite a bit. I'll show you why. So right now, without it even being bolted on, I can set it there and hook up the lights and everything else that needs to be hooked on before it's already attached to the truck. So now that I have the bumper resting on the hitch, I'm gonna actually crawl underneath because this is way easier from underneath than trying to do this from the front. So with one hand, get a nut in your hand, carefully push on your bumper. You may have to reach up here to pull these through. And my neighbors cut the lawn. That's just wonderful. Get one of the nuts on there so it won't fall out on you. Don't tighten it down yet. Wait till you have the other side. I swear nothing wants me to have a quiet video. I got one side bolted down. So while it's bolted down, I can reach back here, push the bumper up so that the light comes through, put the new piece on, give a little more room, there we go, spins and clicks, make sure it's facing the right way, it pops right in. Now while you're underneath here, both bolts are on, but they're not tight. This allows you to move the bumper up and down and kind of adjust where you want it to sit. A good way to tell that you're lined up is the bottom edge of this will actually sit on this lip right here. It'll sit flush and then it really lines the bumper up on top. An item to note is the new bolt is actually a 22 and not a 21. 